first off, I just want to say sorry to the family of victim. I wish the situation would have played out like that. I never thought that uh, my choices and decisions would have affected so many people. You know, no mother deserves to bury her son, and no mother deserves to see her son change. My bad choice led to a lose-lose situation for me, my family, and the family of the victim. I understand that Paula's mom won't get to see hug her son again. I won't be able to hug mine for a while, and my mom won't be able to hug me for a while. So this is a, it's a sad situation. But in favor of my grandparents and my parents, I just wanted to be known that you know my family didn't raise me to be a bad person, or that I'm not even that type of person. You know the lifestyle that I chose to live put me in a situation that it was just played out negatively. I was 16 at the time of the incident. I was young, angry, you know, full of pride, caught in the streets and in the middle of in the middle of gangs and all type of other stuff. And I felt like you know that was the best choice for me to make. But today I don't think that was that. You know, the best choice. I only thought of me and not other people that were other ways to resolve the situation. But I take the full responsibility for my actions and I'm ready to face the consequences. I want to use my time to make me a better person and not let my time bring me down. It's just the only question I have is if I was the one dead, would I still be viewed as such a bad person? Would my family get sent to your justice? You know, I always think about what about the mother of Keon? It's been four years. She hasn't gotten justice or peace of mind because the killer of her son still walks free. The situation on July 12th could easily have my mother in the same situation. So just to my brother, Jamar, and everybody, you know, all the, everybody around my age and other people that I be with, you know, the life that we was living, being in gangs and all that other stuff, it ain't worth 16 years or death because eventually you be put in a situation and there's severe consequences that come with that. But to my family, I just want to say, don't cry, this isn't a funeral. My life is far from over. They can lock my body, but they can't lock my mind. It's gonna be a long tunnel I have to walk through, but I'll always stay focused at the light at the end and I'll always keep a smile on my face like always. I love y'all and I'm gonna miss y'all a lot. To my brothers and sisters, I love y'all. Just always remember me. To my mom, to Sincere, I apologize for all I put y'all do. Sister, I love you and TJ forever. Y'all my family, y'all motivate me to keep me focused on getting through the situation. I'm gonna miss y'all every day. You know, take care of my son from me. Once again, I apologize to the family of the victims and to my family, to all the, to all the ones that kept a solid, all the ones that really love me and care about me. I love you all and they know I'm always keep a smile on my face.